Hey hens, how are we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? I'm going to dress the elephant in the room really quick. I have got a new dressing gown. I'm not afraid to use it. It's autumn in the UK. I have a bit of compassion. We all know that I love builds, but what I love more than builds is chaotic builds. And what I love more than chaotic builds is chaotic versions of chaotic builds. So today, what we're going to be doing is each room is a different challenge challenge because we're well acquainted with the each room is a different pack each room is a different style each room is a different decade etc what i'm going to do is the conglomeration yes i have a master's degree yes of all of those challenges into one challenge different pack different style different decade no mistakes which is a build challenge where you can't make a mistake so once you put something there it's got to be in there no same object so you can't use the same object twice no same swatches so you can't use the same swatches of anything and also random budget i think that no same objects and no same swatches will be easier unless it's a kitchen or a bathroom i mean maybe just the kitchen is going to be hard for that one don't know who this lass is but i'm going to assume she's got a build box oh god i don't know why i'm so creatively stumped over it have i gone from modern build again i'm a twat for it lately honestly maybe i am just a modern builder but this is the box that we're going for it is quite a unique box the spinning wheel might fuck this plan up and it's always a bad thing to go into these with a very strict plan actually but i thought it could look really cool if we have these inset windows or windows as people with nicer accents call them so yeah that's the plan it may completely fuck up but that's that give it to me for the outside it is please don't be please don't be the same swatch i just want a nice one you fucking bitch. Excuse me. I hate my life. Why did I try and manifest it? Black there, grey black there, because then we can hide this little extra bit, which I didn't plan to hide this little extra bit. I actually plan to use it really well, but we can hide this with one of these bushes or two of these bushes. And then that looks kind of meant to be there. I'm actually fucking with that a little bit. I am. For the rest of the house, I'm not so sure, but for these side bits, we've got those figured out. This door from Eco Lifestyle. God, Eco Lifestyle was a while ago, wasn't it? Eco Lifestyle literally feels like yesterday. But what is time? It does not, ex well, it does exist. It's quite powerful, actually. Actually, time heals all wounds and makes me depressed. That's that. That's me. My daily trauma dumping. <laughs> Just sometimes the passage of time and like the extent that time passes really freaks me out because sometimes I really struggle to believe that I am not eight year old playing The Sims and then I wake up and it's my career. If the swatches don't match badly, then I can just use curtains to hide it. But you never know. We might be going for this juxtaposition. A mix of styles, if you will. We're not. But we might be. Does it look like a cyclops? That's my issue. You know what might work well? The Discover University windows, the ones that are on it like this. That might work well. Isn't there another one that's on a slant? It's a second height, isn't it? Ah, you bitch. That evens it out a little bit. It's unique. But isn't that what you want from a house? Uniqueness. And I'll use that in a different swatch. We can make it work. I trust in ourselves. Although... I don't know why I'm putting it on you because it is actually all down to me if you think about it. If we put the kitchen here and then we can utilise that long window. Getting somewhere at least, but we haven't actually moved on to the hard bit yet, which is the roofing. So that one may cause me to cry. Right, so that's that. I might do the same type of thing on this side and carry it over and then we can have some hanging plants here and then that utilizes these bits and then for this we could just put grass on here or something i mean that doesn't look too bad and that pretty much covers it all up anyway sorted oh those columns are so beautifully similar thank you thank you lord and then that just looks like it's a different swatch because the light's hitting it but i might do that on that side for privacy and then yeah no i think i'm gonna do that actually that on that side for privacy it does look a little bit weird there is the the plant wall thing where are you babe oh there's this one too because this could be like our little vertical garden space and then we're actually using up the space on the wall there instead of trying to incorporate another winter because I'm not doing anything that stresses me out actually. I am fine, calm, uh, relieved and well relieved was a bit of a lie god i hate it actually but well, you know what i'm sure i can fit a window in the opposite side no there there we go perfect still looks a little bit odd it is mainly the wallpaper i am bothered about we must have various shades of white of everything right like there must be a way that we can make this work uh, i think i'm starting to tell the, d the amount of different shades right but if we have like all white for one side that's a little bit darker but you can't really tell as it's staging through the lights it's only really on the morning that you can tell so i'm fine with that i'm willing to turn a blind eye and then if if we separate it with like a grey or something, then it's still a different swatch. And then darker can be, what colour do you think we have the most of? Maybe like an orange or a green. I'm going to just do this entire, entire front side. It's green. I'm going to, I'm going to allow myself that. Oh, that looks like pretty much the exact same colour. Oh, perfect. By the time we get around to the other side though, the, the, the green's going to have massively changed. But you know what? We've had a good time. Green's just progressively got darker. Well, it could be a metaphor, do you know what I mean? For life or some shit. I don't think it's as bad as it could have been. I, I I really do think it could be worse. I'm going to make the executive decision to change that to like this kind of green though. Oh, you know what? 
right, this green may be a bit too dark actually to fit in with our vibe. That'll do. You know what? It looks so fucking eclectic and I am willing to just accept it. I'm a bit proud of it, actually. I mean, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to. That's about as much as I'm willing to do with landscape. And apart from, I'll shot them there. There you go. Nice little decoration for you. That is one eclectic looking fucker. So that's the outside of the house done. I actually need to make a floor plan in here. I'm just going to put some stairs in just as like a guideline. May end up deleting them, but there's our guideline. I'm thinking bedroom here, bathroom. That window needs moving because it's too amazing, actually bathroom another bedroom that's a decent enough space yeah that'll do living room dining room yeah that'll do that'll do right so first up the kitchen and for the kitchen i'm going to remove no same swatches <laughs> The styles one is the fucking worst. It's so stupid because in contemporary, right, there's wallpapers, but you're going to pat your no wallpapers. Do you know what I mean? Like some are, some are quite good and you might get wallpapers in some and you might not get wallpapers in the other. When I started this challenge in 2019, it was, I think probably the, the, the most chaotic one I've done just because of how some styles have an abundance of things then other styles just have completely none. I think that there's 19 styles in game. 18, right, there's 18 styles. So I'm going to do random number generator between one and 18 generate 18 right well guard a oh, fuck off fucking bitch the outside of the house was looking so nice as well i really thought we were getting somewhere and this i could do this as like the living room but this bitch just does not work as the kitchen right let me see what we can do i'll have to get inventive again like th these are our kitchen counters let's just say it's a couple right one of them loves modern one of them loves boho and cottage car and stuff and the the modern one one on the outside and the boho one one on the inside that's what we're going with we'll keep the color we'll keep the green theme coming up though i mean we have a picnic bench there's some of that we could do with that but i'm trying to think of like how am i supposed to make a sink out of this like do i just size this no that doesn't work oh that could look kind of cute though little mushroom steals for the end oh that is quite pretty actually isn't it oh <laughs> maybe i am falling in love with it now who knows it's not really giving off kitchen vibes but you know what maybe if i just make that small enough that can look like a sink there you go i give up this could be a sink the bathtub had its moment but it was not to stay kind of killing me that i worked so hard on a theme <laughs> for outside and it's all just gone tits up but you know what maybe they don't cook maybe they just spend their lives ordering delivery i don't know whether to do this mud base as a carpet fuck it i've done it now i'd rather have mud than now do you know what i mean what would you rather sleep on mud or cement i know my answer that looks better you can't tell me it doesn't because I know it does. I just wish we had wallpaper. Shocked by how much I'm actually seeming to love it. I mean, that's so cute. There's lots missing and there's lots to unpack. But you know, all in all, quite a cute little place, isn't it? Even got a mushroom man, mushroom gnome waiting to greet you. Oh, you know what? This is what I love about these challenges. I always lose myself and then I end up finding myself along the way. Next room, living room. I don't even know if we've got enough things for the rest of the rooms, but we'll go anyway. Right, no same objects. This one should actually be easy because it's not the kitchen i've actually got whiplash off the vibe change fuck it i might use white as an accent because this is technically that's one swatch and then this is technically another swatch so all that white is different swatches and then i can really consolidate the yellow that is a statement and a half in it fuck it <laughs> It's like Billy Ray Cyrus in the business in the front party in the side. Do you know what I mean? I'm not mad about it. I'm trying to see if we have two bootcases that kind of give off the same vibes. We can have them in the, them corners. This is actually working out quite well. Like, obviously, I'm willing to put my hands up and admit that, like, 100%, Your Honor, this is not the, the style that I would have initially chose. It's a style I am fucking with. I have also found I fucking hate floor lamps. Kind of feeling it. This is quite fun. Oh, shit, I can't use the same object twice, can I? Right, well, no curtains. I'm not going to stress myself out more than I need. I'm just, I'm just living vibes and vibes anything that gives me vibes i'm staying with anything that fucks my vibes not staying with i think a nice little rug i actually i'm a bit shocked at how much i actually like this and then i think a uh, plant in the corner where is the cottage living plant darling where the fuck is she genuinely lost her right, well i guess she doesn't get to be used in this one but it's all right she'll get over it she will it's a very tall table fuck it that'll do maybe just another plant in this corner that's a big plant though in it i'm happy with that like it wouldn't be my preferred choice but i actually think that's one of my favorite living rooms i've created in a while love the vibes love the extra long table i'm not usually this creative with objects babe i, I literally i take an object and i use it but no two objects in one <laughs> blown me mind oh god well that window's kind of messed up in it pa i'm trying to call it a pavement in my head i know that's not what it's called what's it called path passage 
The little passage. Different pack. Fun. James Turner, babe. Random pack generator. Luxury party stuff. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? 12 items. The fuck. All right, well, this one's going to be very short and sweet, actually. Chair. No, do you know what? I'll put a table. Oh, won't even go on there. Sorry. Maybe next time. So we will have the chair. We will take the chair. Curtain. Just for dramatic effect. Another curtain. Just for dramatic effect. Do we even have any doors? No. Boom cube. I don't know what we do up here, but it, it's a side business. It must be. We'll go for a, a red theme. Red and gold. Gryffindor. It's actually Gryffindor common room. That is interesting. We've got some lights as well. I am just going to pretend that these aren't sticking out the walls as well. Right, well, that's that. We've still got room for doors, though, in case I want to put any doors in. So I, I wish I could sit here. I hated it, but I actually think it could be a cool concept in, like, a club. I'm just not a fan of this stuff pack, honestly, because nothing about me screams luxury. Do you know what I mean? But I I scream, bargain discount, discount UK bargain buys. You buy one, you get one free, bug off. We're going to move on to this bedroom here, which is the second bedroom. It could also be an office. Oh my God, it's already thingy. It's a different decade. Random decade generator from 1900 to, yep that's giving me too many options just one generate 1993 oh, 90s oh this one's going to be fun i'm actually going to do this as as like an office because this is going to be the master bedroom then this is going to be the office that's going to be the bathroom so we're going for a 90s vibe this is so much fun i'm having the best time i think i'm going to go for like 90s grunge the big back tellies we have a lava lamp oh it's coming together a bit more now i fucking love it what i'm actually doing here is just healing my inner child i know that that console is not necessarily 90s but we're just going to let it we're just going to let it be I'm having a blast. I'm sad to know that we will soon be moving on from this room, actually. And I think that there's a ball in night stuff. Here it is with like the most 90s possible designs on it. And I'm going all out. I'm changing the lighting and everything in this room. God, I'm in love. I want to be here. Yeah. I might have to play my GameCube after this video. I'll be honest with you. I loaded up, play the Sims. Sims original game for GameCube. And then I'll just sit and cry, actually. Right, bathroom. God, I can't get too bonded with that room. I need to take off different decade. But there's no mistakes anyway. And then I have to take off different decade. So the bathroom is no make no mistakes and then the bedroom is random budget the bathroom should hopefully be pretty easy because it doesn't actually take much to make a bathroom mentally it takes me much to make a bathroom because i hate making bathrooms i just don't understand the appeal of making somewhere look nice when all you do is send your sims there a shit don't understand you know that's fine if you want to sit and look at your sims shit that is your prerogative do you know what i mean probably i'm feeling a sudden amount of pressure to get everything right i just want to put that down i can't delete it now but i'm just feeling the vibes the 90s rooms made me a little bit feral so we're gonna go for a black and thick pink theme today and we're gonna succeed at it do we have a pink toilet oh, 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 oh we do amazing do we have a pink sink oh i can't i can't move it can i that is absolutely amazing i don't know whether i want to put two there oh shit i placed it in the wrong place it's fine it's fine i'm gonna carry on oh my god this bathroom's a fucking vibe and a half actually i i, I am actually obsessed i actually I, I feel like we're in the club i'm having a great time i'm even going for the extra details and putting like washing and stuff underneath here that's how you can tell i'm obsessed with the bathroom i mean I, I do this every time i sit and rant and rave about how much i fucking hate bathrooms and then i find myself really enjoying the entire process but that's just me now i haven't actually put these swatches down so i'm not actually cheating i think i might do that and then for the rest of it, I think I might do this black tile. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm having the best time. Who'd have thought it? I think it's fucking fantastic. Right. Now the final bedroom is, the final room is a random budget. So I'm just going to do random number generator and we'll see what we get. I'm going to say maximum 10,000. You can make a house with 10,000 simoleons. So I'm going to say maximum 10,000 to make a bedroom. Generate 4,669. Nice. So I'm going to do money 4,469. Was it 4,600? So we've got this amount to make a bedroom. I think think it can be done i have high hopes got high high hopes for a living i do not know the words to that song where's the door i've just used i want to keep it cohesive now fucking hell we already can't afford beds this is already a fucking disaster actually are we just going unhinged should we just go unhinged let's go unhinged babe the upstairs is already there we might as well take the theme all the way i mean it's not actually that unhinged really is it <laughs> By unhinged, I think I, I just meant colour. Should we go colourful? Ah, yes. I am fucking with it, though. The swatch of that bed in particular is actually really playing on my mind. I keep using this bed, that swatch. I've never noticed that paw before. Oh, look at that. And I fucking, I love this rug. I just think, oh, how fun are you, you little sea turtle, minding your own business? And then some last that you don't even know called Plumbella is literally a big fan, big fan. All right, we've got 1,900 simoleons left. We can, we can do something. We can do something with this. I'm thinking, oh, the little mushroom chair. Oh, look at her. And then do we have like an ottoman? Because I think an ottoman could look really cute there. Right, we've got a thousand pound left. What? The, all of the purples in The Sims 4 are so warm. 
She's a big fan of Halloween. Like me, fuck it. It's unhinged. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't in love. I'd live here. I'd fucking pay you to live here, actually. I'd maybe have some problems with this and the fact that there's actually no working kitchen. But the bedroom, the upstairs vibe, absolute vibe. 100% it went in a completely different direction than I anticipated it going. I'm not going to lie. Completely different. I had a very strong modern plan for this house. And well, I think the kitchen was really the first head like that. The sink looks great, though. That is very intuitive of me. Kitchen no it was all downhill from there the living room as well again i think we managed to pull that together quite well but then the further you go through the house that just the more unhinged it, it becomes that the office i love it i mean unhinged isn't necessarily a bad thing do you know what i mean i, I find myself that i fit quite well in here which worrying in and of itself do you know what i mean therapy potentially the bathroom as well i took a risk placing that bath i know it is and that's the biggest amount of risk i take in my life is placing a different colored bath in the sims 4 but it worked out well and the bedroom worry about your own issues right not mine so that is everything that i have for you today each room is a different build challenge challenge i don't think anybody else has done this before i haven't seen anyone else do it before but if you want to do it then absolutely feel free i would love to see other creators do this as well because i think it could, could be really fun because also you can customize this challenge like what challenges you want to do as well so yeah i love you all so so much please subscribe if you haven't already leave other build ideas down below and i'll see you in the next one bye beach